Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. Today we are talking about Pet Cemetery Bloodlines, a 2023 uh, movie that takes place after the events of the reboot. And that's important for several reasons uh, that I'll get into in the review. But this one stars uh, Natalie Allen Lynn, Jackson White, David Duchovny, Jack Mulhern, Henry Thomas, Pam Greer, and a whole bunch of industry staples. But let's go ahead and jump right into the review. Okay, so Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. What's it about? Why does it exist? Um, I really don't have uh, <laughs> I don't have the answers to the second question, but the uh, the first question uh, is it takes place uh, in in the past. It is a prequel movie. Uh, if you have not watched the trailers, I'm not going to get into extensive details about what happens in the movie, uh, but just needless to say that it takes place in the past, um, and it is referencing a scene that is in the book in the original movie um i cannot remember if it's in the reboot but the lore for the reboot reboot is is important unfortunately because it follows the rules of the reboot and not the original pet cemetery movie nor the book um now there are a lot of easter eggs and things in this movie for that and other um, Stephen King properties, whatnot. There's a bunch of that stuff. If you want a video on that after 31 days of Halloween is over, just let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Um, where I'm at with this movie, for those of you who like to get in, get dirty, and get out, um, I am at a 3.5 stars for this one. It is leagues, leagues, leaps and bounds better than the uh, reboot in, what, 2019, I think it was, even though it uses... The same stuff that they bring up in that one. There's a couple differences between... There's a lot of differences, actually. But they use some of that lore in this one. The uh, the people who are brought back talk a hell of a lot more than they do in the book and versus the original movie. So go in there with that in mind. <clears throat> I would... This is, a, this is a good movie. It is a serviceable Pet Cemetery prequel, I guess. Um, it is a prequel. It supposedly, you know, happens... I don't want to spoil, because I had no idea going into this what they were going to be talking about. And once it finally clicked, once all the names started filtering in, I was like, oh, this might actually be pretty damn cool. And it it was. Uh, there is absolutely nothing amazing about this, about this movie. There is nothing that's going to stand out to you. There's nothing that's going to make it a classic, a cult classic. It is just an okay movie. Um, I didn't have any problem with any of the acting other than I, I don't think, I don't even know why, because we don't see much of Norma, um, in the, in the movies or in, in the book. You just don't see much of her, but I feel like the person they got to play Norma, um, in this one did not fit the original Norma. Um, and I am saying that, uh, I'm saying that name specifically because I don't want to give away anything else. Uh, if you know who Norma is, that's good. If not, you don't have a spoiler, that kind of deal. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the pacing is really off in this one. I like the characters. Um, I didn't have much dread because since it's a prequel, we all know how the story turns out. Uh, the story is brought up at least once in all of the movies and in the uh, and in the book, uh, but that this I don't know what it is about this one, but sometimes I wasn't just my, it didn't have my attention. Um, the I guess the the pacing is just all over the place. I'm not sure how to explain it without going into detail. There is far more downtime. There is far more character drama in this, which makes it a little bit more like King's, uh, like the source material. But at the same time, there's not enough going on all the time to keep you interested for the entire runtime. And the movie really isn't all that long. Um, I'm giving it 3.5 because it is much better shot than the uh than the 2019 reboot uh it is there's better acting uh better writing uh but even better i would even say a better score soundtrack 
Uh, it, it's just better all around. Um, but I liked it. Con I liked it so much more. I gave that a, the the reboot a uh, one star, and for this one, I'm gonna give it three point five because it, not only did it exceed my expectations, but I didn't actively hate it like I did with the last one. So three point five might actually be too much, but I don't want to go all the way down to three. So that's where I'm at with this movie. Uh, if you do not know anything about this going in, I'm gonna tell you again. Do not watch the trailer, do not read the synopsis, any of that stuff, because it was a hell of a surprise for me going into it what it what it actually was and it wasn't until probably about 15 minutes into the movie that everything started to fall into place and i was like oh this is this is pretty cool and i i would have never thought that they would do this story as a in, as a full movie since it's such a small part in the book and the movies when they do bring it up but have you seen pet cemetery bloodlines if you have let me know what you think about it down there in the doobly-doo but until next time i have been e you have been you this has been another episode of 31 days of halloween i'll talk to you guys later Bye bye